Clayton, what just happened, dude? Uh, you wiped out again. <laughs> Alex. What's up? What's going What's on? Up? Long, Long time no see. see. <laughs> <laughs> Long time no see. So, what's going on today? What's, uh, you know, how's life? What are you up to? What are you, what are you uh, up to? how's life? Uh, moved into a new house. Fixed the hamstring issue. Took a break, mentally, physically. Uh, this is like, what, second, third week back running. So we got our first little pickup today. Nothing crazy. Just easy. Pick up. Two, two miles up. Three miles at whatever it feels like. Two mile cooldown. Call it a day. Morning, I guess. Far from the day being over. Yeah, it's very much morning. A lot of fog on the window. That's crisp Ohio morning. Crisp cross country morning. <laughs> Something hits different about cross country morning. Tell us about the cross country season. Uh, what mine? Or? Yeah, yours. Yeah. Oh, I'm in full cross country mode. Um, we'll get up 70, 75 miles a week. We got a turkey trot on the schedule. We got a Christmas race on the schedule. We got a couple five Ks in between on the roads. Um, who knows? Maybe I'm hopping across country race. I can find one. But yeah, a lot of strength work. I don't even think I'll touch a track all fall. Just all strength work, all hill work, all cross country work. All American. Yeah, sure. Go with that. <laughs> What's in the cup this morning? A little creatine this morning. Yeah, a little creatine action. 20, 30 minutes for a run. I'm a little late on that action. But creatine this morning, and then uh, we gotta make a smoothie after the run today. I think it's a smoothie kind of morning. I just gotta find enough fruit to make a smoothie. Maybe Strawberries, we'll bananas, blackberries. That's all you need. We need, a, we need a smoothie episode, actually. That's all we need. I mean, it's just literally nothing special. It's just a smoothie. Yeah, but it's a Clayton Murphy original. It's not really original. <laughs> <laughs> Hard to my legs, where it's like, why didn't it have the thing to hurt? <laughs> like, why is that sore? Like, What's and all I've done is run, I haven't even gotten to the gym. On your left. Thank you. You okay? Are you okay? Clayton, what just happened, dude? Uh, you wiped out again. <laughs> I was surprised. Like, we all talked about, we all knew it was coming. We all knew. We all knew it was coming. <laughs> Oh yeah. This little way to start the morning. Oh, he's back. Let's see how long this lasts. Yeah, we'll see. Now that it's a you know nice long stretch. No way you hold your arm in that position for very long. Yeah. So post USA's was obviously pretty difficult. Like coming off of that, coming off of a huge disappointment. Um, there was for sure a law, both mentally and physically, coming off of that, where I needed time to. Um, put myself back together, I'd say. Um, but training never really laxed a little bit, just kind of took a little bit of a down period after USA, just to get my mind right, my body right. And then um, built myself back up to go over to Europe. Obviously Monaco ended my season on a pretty high note for me. I was really happy with the way Monaco went. Uh, the hamstring issue kind of flared back up at USA's, after USA's, making the end of my season somewhat limited to what I could do. Um, so Monaco ended my season. Uh, I just felt it was the best thing for my body and my mind to cut it off there, take a break, get myself right. Um, I spent a lot of time in rehab over the last month, um, three, four, five times a week with my PT, um, spending hours there. Wife and I bought a house, so that was a huge move for me. Um, so a lot of time spent doing that. But then now it's just about kind of getting myself back in the rhythm of things. I don't feel like the break really took much out of me, both physically, just kind of need to find my rhythm again, get the shape back under me. I'm still gonna enjoy the fall and, and enjoy life, uh, but I'm also gonna kind of be more on the cross country side for the fall here, as you see in the video here. Just getting some more tempo runs in, some 5K, 10K road races, uh, just kind of enjoying training again and enjoying more of the strength work side and getting away from the track a little bit. I think for me to enjoy training, one is to be healthy. <laughs> Training hurt is extremely difficult. So number one is being healthy. Uh, number two is just not taking it super, super serious. Not making, not, every rep doesn't have to be perfect in the fall. Um, every, every workout doesn't have to be perfect. Going with the ebbs and the flows. Um, going with what the body feels like. 
Transitioning into more of the strength work for me changes up what I'm doing. Not necessarily running laps on the track, but you know, running on the trail, running on the grass, running on the big road loops. Uh, just mixing it up more or less is kind of uh, a way for me to enjoy training and have fun with it versus feel like I'm in a high pressure situation day after day, week after week, making sure that every rep is what it needs to be because in the end of the fall, there's no USA Championships and the World Championships where I have to be primed and ready to go for. Yeah, so I'm really circling about four road races this fall. 5K, 10Ks uh, for two of them, some kind of turkey shot in that like three mile to five mile range and then uh, about a four mile race at the end of December, right around Christmas. So for me, those are just about breaking up training and having fun. Um, racing is obviously why I do this. Racing is why I love track and field and why I love running, competing. So for me, racing allows me to do what I love the most about my career and my job um, and not make it all just about training. But for me, um, really just the races aren't performance oriented, they aren't result oriented, they're just about kind of getting out there and mixing it up, pushing myself, doing something different. I mean, I could run great in a, in a 10K in a couple weeks and I could run really bad in a 10K in a couple weeks. It, to me, either one doesn't really have any impact on how the spring goes. Uh, for me, it's just about kind of getting out there and mixing it up with some, you know, marathoners and 5K guys and 10K guys and some local guys, um, spending some time within the community and also just doing a tempo run that's on a road in a part of a race versus having to do a, a, f a five, six mile tempo that's on the towpath by myself with somebody sitting next to me on a bike. I didn't realize the whole last mile was uphill. <laughs> Did you see that? Notice that? Pretty much. Like, that whole gradual uphill was not picked up on the way out. I still felt like I was, like, shuffling. Uh -huh. running. Like I didn't have my full cadence, I feel like. Just get out of shape. I got out of shape faster. Okay. I don't really feel like I'm out of shape now. I just feel like I'm lacking, the, like, exercise. Yeah. And that checks out. I feel like in two weeks I'll be. If I do this workout next week, the same one, I'll go like 35, 25, 15. Uh -huh. And if I do it like two weeks from now, so like not next week but the week after, I'd be like 15, 5 flat, 5 flat. Like, same heart rates. Like, I literally just need to get mileage in my belt. Alright. Here we go. Woo! I have no idea where that was. Like seriously, no idea. After, after like I get on here, I have no idea where I'm at. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this tempo. Uh, for now, we're back. Uh, Alex actually has the time, the energy, and actually cares about me again. So help you, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right guys, hey, I hope you enjoyed the tempo. We have a lot more coming out now. Alex and I both have a lot more time to be able to produce some high quality content for you guys. And just to show you guys what's life like in the fall as a, as a middle distance athlete. It's much different. As you see, we're doing a lot more tempos. I'm going to race road races. Who knows? Maybe some mic'd up road races. We'll see. If you guys do enjoy it, make sure to leave the like below. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. Um, we'll probably have a new video out by the end of the week. I'm putting the pressure on Alex there to, to come up with something. If you guys want to see something special or see us talk about something or see me debate something or see me do another interview with somebody, drop it below for sure. Otherwise, I will catch you guys in the next video, but for now, have a great run.